it's the 50th anniversary of hip hop and we still have a lot of discrepancies as far as the origins of hip hop, a lot of claims, who did what, who was the first this, who was the this and that and such and such. But at the end of the day, we need a definitive story, all right? And that story can only be told by the founders of this culture. Like everything was being driven and influenced by young, black, American culture. Like the slang, the style of dress, the initial uh, music that we chose. Look at uh, all the boroughs. You got, you know, money making Manhattan and money earning Mount Vernon and Crooklyn. The Bronx was the boogie down Bronx. We was partying up there. I am Coke LaRock, the first MC of hip hop. First cat to pick the mic up. I introduced rapping to the turntable because when I came with it, nobody in the world was doing it. I'm right after Rudy Ray Moore. They want to come in the mix, they want to say, I was, we started. No, no you didn't. No you didn't. No you didn't. What can be known as hip hop was solely an African American creation. What would you get out of some Jamaican toast? What is that? I've never heard of a rapper use a Jamaican toast or a Jamaican flu as a rhyme. I've never heard of it, and I don't know where that myth came from. My name is Legendary Kane Trixie from the Bronx, BX, from the West Side. I am the first break dancer. And that narrative that hip hop has had three founding fathers that's been rolling for the last almost 30 years, which isn't true. You don't have just three people who created hip hop. Hip hop was created by a number of different people. I am the grandfather, the godfather of the graffiti culture. I am the first element of hip hop. The roots of hip hop being Jamaican, absolutely false. My name is MC Shah Rock. I am a founding member of the MC slash rap culture. Cassette tapes was the internet of our time. It just traveled around by hand. I know for a fact that the B-Boy stand started from the gods, the five percenters that would be at the jams back in the days who were acting as security. If they get the real truth of how it all was created, then so many lives would not be able to be in existence. Traps right, understand how to get that. Ran down on them niggas with a flip back. You ain't never seen none of nigga live like that. I was still getting sex back. Had to fuck around getting them packs back. Niggas. Sully, you know me, Super Bowl is Gotti. You know, seeing another video. This one right here, I want to talk about the whole Tariq Nasheen. You know, hip hop. Um, history documentary he got coming. Now, this is what I want to tell people, right? No knock on Tariq. I don't got no issue with Tariq. In fact, I was a huge, still a huge supporter of what Tariq do, his work, hitting colors, you know, the art of Mac and all that. But I think with this hip hop conversation, man, I think it, it, it don't need to be divisive. I think that, you know, we all gotta understand Hollywood, I'm loving that Hollywood is getting his flowers. I'm loving that Super King, Disco King Mario's getting his flowers. I'm loving that, you know, you know, those two brothers is getting their flowers and, you know, the pioneers, Grandmaster Cash and Busy B and Melly Mel, they all getting their flowers. No, no, nothing, nothing taking that, you know what I'm saying? But we always got to remember this, though. We always got to remember this, though. Hip-hop culture, especially in the Bronx, did have blacks and Hispanics. You know, you got to remember, Melly Mel is half black half Dominican. A lot of people don't know that. He's half black, half Dominican, right? And, you know, in some way, you gotta look at the Bronx as predominantly, you had a mixture of a melting pot of Jamaicans and blacks and Hispanics. Nobody's saying that 
the culture don't come from the FBAs. Nobody's saying that. You know what I mean? The last poets had Puerto Ricans and blacks in it. You know what I'm saying? And the brothers got to understand is that's what the environment was in Harlem, in the Bronx, and even Brooklyn. It was a melting pot of everybody. You know what I'm saying? Now, I agree. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to them Caucasians, when it comes to them culture vultures, and not, and not all white people. I'm not going to say all white people is bad because you have white people that was in the culture too. Don't get it twisted. But when it comes to culture vultures, I get it. They got to be called out. But with the, with the, like I said, with the documentary, is very divisive because you got dudes in it. You got dudes like Tariq, man. He trying to make it a, a whole... Like, we on this FBA 80s thing. Like, like I said before, man, before this whole 80s and FBA situation, you know, brothers brothers looked at the money because you got to look. You got dudes like Tone Talks and Yvette Carnell came with 80s, right? Before then, he had an issue with Yvette Carnell, and he started talking about 80s and FBA. And that's understandable. There's nothing wrong with talking about 80s and FBA and, and, and talking about the movement. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, a lot of our ancestors did not come from slavery. It was already here. So I agree with that. But when it comes to hip-hop, like I said, man, hip-hop was... We really brown people. Let's just let's stop with all this black shit. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the one thing I, I really hate when we say black. Because we not black, we brown. So it's the culture of brown people. We melanated people. So it's not the culture of people... You know, that didn't come from the environments they come from. And I get it. You know, did Hispanics? No, we're not going to say that. But there was a lot of Hispanics in the culture because of the, the proximity of the environment. You know what I'm saying? And nobody is taking nothing from Mario or Hollywood because Hollywood and Mario was the originators of hip hop. Now, Herc had the first big party. You know what I'm saying? That was publicized. But Hollywood and Mario was the premier DJs with the Eddie Chibas, you know, and and, and, and and even the Pete Joneses. You know what I'm saying? I give Pete Jones a little more credit. You know, they like to put Flowers, but Flowers was a disco DJ. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them dudes was disco DJs. He wasn't hip-hop DJs. You couldn't come to their party and B-Boy. You had to come to their party on some suited and booted shit. And anybody that'll tell you that, any elder will tell you that. You know, even Hollywood parties was for the bowlers. But he still was for the culture. You know what I'm saying? Coke Rock was the first rapper. You know, and he was a part of the Herculoids. So when it comes to the hip-hop culture and it comes to certain dudes, man, we gotta give it the we gotta give it the the Herc, we gotta give it to Hollywood, and we gotta get it to Super Disco King Mario. There's nothing to take away from nobody else. But I always look at those three as the big three of hip-hop. Hollywood, Disco King, Mario, and, you know, Herc. You know what I'm saying? If you want to talk about, I don't look at Bam, Bam, because Bam came later. I don't look at Bam, I don't look at, you know, Flash is a, Flash is a legend, but they all came later. When it comes to who was originators and who had the first party, publicized party, Herc. Who was the first to do what it do, you know, DJing-wise and, and, and being party pleasers, Hollywood, and Disco King Mario. And that's just what it is, man. That's just what it is. And, and, and it's no, and we don't need to make it real, like, into an argument and into a debate piece. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't have a problem with Tariq doing a documentary. But don't, you know, shoot brothers down. You know what I'm saying? Because it's history. Don't do, don't do that to the history. I think that everybody needs to be told. Because... You can't just go and try to shit on brothers, man. If you're going to do it, if you're going to say, yo, the Puerto Ricans ain't got nothing, place a hell in, bro. But let's not be divisive, man. That's all I wanted to say, man. Shout out to everybody, man. It's your boy, Bullets Gotti, man. Salute.